everyone. This is the Thor McDonald home. And we're just taking a few snaps to get the day started. Beautiful, bright, sunny day. And there's going to be a lot of people here taking a look around. Take a few snaps of the home and all the goings on. This is where he grew up as a little boy. Beautiful wooded country. Not too many flowers out yet, but there will be very shortly. Good morning, everyone. Here's a couple of people and their little boy Liam just Hi, taking a look at Thor McDonald's home. Good luck, Susan. We have a few more people drifting in for the exciting day. Good morning, everyone. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Don't Have mind me. <laughs> City of Vaughan Councillor for Thornhill Ward 5 and this is within her uh, ward and I think you're very fortunate to have such a beautiful place uh, within your ward. So Susan, would you like to see a few words? Thank you. The activities and facilities. Uh, this particular one has a very unique place. I know for the community, but for myself. And firstly, I would like to bring greetings on behalf of the Mayor and City of Vaughan Council for all those who helped put this initiative together. So McDonald, first and foremost, being the leader of David Rockwood, who's in the spot, uh, George Duncan, many others, so forgive me if I forget somebody, pioneers, and as well as artists and, and artisans and several other people who have a commitment to uh, be able to bring forward this type of work and uh, skills and character to our community, which really is so much a part of what Thornhill always was, historically. And so I want to welcome everyone, myself, I'm very particularly pleased, the city is pleased, our staff who are working with Sue, as well as myself, to uh, be able to utilize this facility that has been somewhat dormant on and off through the years. It has been okay. This is something special. I wasn't on council at the time. I may have been a school trustee by then. I'm not even sure. So much time has passed and ensued. Uh, but when I saw those edgies, I, I felt very instinctively that this was very unique and that more people needed to enjoy and appreciate what it is all about. And I see uh, Warren Bryce and so many people that have helped to shape this part of the community here today. And I know that this is just the beginning of many more of such wonderful, positive events here. And so I thank you for um, having it and all the work that you put into it, Sue, and your, your sense of commitment, which I know is very strong. Uh, there are some plans to uh, utilize it further. We're working on various initiatives with Sue and others, 
and Spot and many others in the community that want to see people have the opportunity to appreciate this for all its entirety. So thank you again very much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Society um, for the Preservation of Historic Thornhill, known in, in more briefly as Spot. Spot. Much yes. easier to say. And uh, David would like to say a few words of welcome to the group today. Yes, I'd just like to thank everybody who's, uh, who's helped here and who's, uh, who's turned up. Uh, Spot is an organization that is, uh, tries to help uh, preserve uh, uh, buildings like this but also to try and get people to know that they're there and to get them being used. Uh, and that's why we're so happy to, uh, to see this, this building, because the building and the area around about it is, as, as Susan said, just a gem to have in, a, in the old historic village of, of Thornhill. Uh, we've just launched a, um, a historic walking tour. They're uh, pamphlets. They're free, by the way. You don't need... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not on, a, on a sales campaign. We've got them upstairs. But again, it's to try and get people to walk around and appreciate what we've got. Um, because if we don't appreciate it, then there's the chance, always the chance of losing things. And uh, when we've got it here and it's been preserved, it's been given to the, uh, uh, the city, uh, it'd be so nice to keep this and, and use it. So, uh, and thanks for Susan and, and, and Susan and uh, any other Susans <laughs> for all that uh, you've done uh, for today. Thank you. Well, thank you, David. Uh, the next person I'd like to introduce is Mr. John Marshall. He is the president of the York Pioneer and Historical Society, and uh, he'd just like to say a few words. Uh, John? Thanks, Lord. The York Pioneers are very pleased to be here today. Uh, this is the second event uh, at McDonald House uh, for us with, with SPOT, uh, and it is actually very appropriate for us to be here. Some of you may not know that the York in York Pioneer does not refer to the old town of York, but to York County. And uh, uh, for that reason, uh, we are very pleased to be here and uh, we feel that uh, Susan particularly has done a remarkable job and uh, we look forward to uh, today and tomorrow. Thank you. Now, um, I, it gives me great pleasure to uh, introduce Susan McDonald, who is the great niece of the famous uh, Group of Seven artist J.E.H. McDonald and a relative of Thoreau's as well. I know that she has worked very, very hard to bring public attention and appreciation to this site. And I got to know Sue many years ago when I was writing an article. I needed to use a Thoreau McDonald drawing. And I had to contact, we've had a wonderful relationship since. Uh, we've worked on projects together, had a lot of fun. And uh, I really um, value our friendship, Sue, and I'm so excited to see your dream quickly becoming reality. Um, I'm going to embarrass Sue slightly. I, I just have to do this. I'm sorry, Sue. Um, you know, today is a very special day uh, for Susan because not only is this wonderful event here a glorious sunny day, and look, the church bells are chiming for you. <laughs> it's Susan's birthday today, so let's see what happens. I'm going to keep this short and sweet or I'm going to lose my voice. I've been talking so much. Um, this is not really about me. This is about the people of Thornhill and all the other people who really want to have a spot like this to come to. I remember what it was like when I used to come here as a girl and I still keep coming here. You don't have to go to meditation classes or yoga. You just come here and you just come right down right away. It's fabulous. It is like stepping back in time. You're right in the city, but as soon as you step here, it's like you're out in the country. And I couldn't have done this without the volunteers. Everybody has been so super. There's no other word for it. They've just been wonderful. Everybody has their own particular expertise, and they've all given of that very graciously. It's been wonderful. Without you, this couldn't have happened. Thank you so much to everybody. Have a great time. <laughs> Can you bunch a little closer? Okay, yeah, side by side. Can you take another one? Yeah, always take this one up the stairs, Doris House, and we're going to take out some of the other artists that are on display today here. Let's get on the I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
Thank you. Thank you. Thank Space at the top, but it's a quilt. Oh, it's a quilt. Oh, it's a double. Yeah, well, on the back, it's not a double. No, no, but on the back, look at these wonderful ladies sewing the wings. It's not called sewing, it's very simple. There's ladies that want some of the quilts that we have done. We do three in a in two years, three years, two years. In 2003, we will be out selling One raffle two. tickets. Would you ladies like to introduce yourselves? And North York General, uh, that, that carry on. asked your question. Ruth Ingram. <laughs> and? K-Siri. Nice to meet you North ladies. You do General wonderful, volunteers. beautiful work. Been there 20 years. You've been there how long? No. <laughs> long time. Keep it up, girls. Here you are, Inc. Young lady, come back here. Sometime later on, when all the uh, flora and fauna will be out, it'll be gorgeous. We're just going to take a walk up through where Dora grew up. Take a scan around. The house. There's a few people just taking a wander around the gardens. Another look at the house. We have a wonderful music playing in the background. I'm sure this place is a blaze of color in the summertime. It must have been a wonderful place to grow up as a young boy. And I know Susan has very, very fond memories of spending part of her childhood here with her family. in the background. Just 
just a glorious day. There's one of the sheds that is in one of the pictures that is on a poster that I was lucky enough to get from Sue Moore for Christmas, David and I. And again, just scanning over the gardens of Thor MacDonald House. Just taking a look at some of the beautiful trees that are on the property. This is just a little run through of the exterior, the outside rear of the home, and up there along the top is the sunroom where he used to do some of his painting. Let's take a little zoom of that. That's where he used to do his paintings. Sundown and a little crack. Doing it, but it is the doll house. There's the dog. Glory dog. And a wonderful sundown. That's how it's going to be. To the front gates of the home. And you can see a little bridge just in the little bit of a distance there. The original planks are still down. And again some of the wooded area that surround the home. It's just spectacular. There's a little river runs under there. There's the bridge. And again, it is only May the 11th. It's fairly early in the season, so most of the blooms aren't out yet, but in the summertime it must be a blaze of colour. This gorgeous piece of property. Getting another shot of the home. In the wooded area, you can hear the birds in the background. Should have a welcome visitor. Taking a little look at the little character. Welcome one and all to the home. Another clock that sits outside the front door of the home. If you want to. 